Hey everyone, I'm going to do a video that I promised for a long time actually that uh, i actually using this uh, bag today so I'll go ahead and do the video. This is my photography bag rather than my normal hiking backpack so I, I wanted to take a lot of pictures today. I decided that uh, I would just this would be the best way to carry a lot of lenses. So this is the Kata HB207 bag. I'm not going to say that it's the greatest bag in the world, but I'm going to say that it's very, in my mind, it's very specialized purpose. Day trips where you just have to take a lot of lenses outside, or you're traveling with them, and you can put this in the overhead. Uh, this is a good bag to store your lenses at your house. Uh, this is not a good bag for tourist things, trying to be lightweight, low profile. This is not the bag you can go to the local museum in and, you know, nudge people around with this thing. It's, it's rather big. Uh, so keep it that in mind. It's very high quality, high strength, high strength. Uh, but this particular model is, is just actually a little bit too big for me. Uh, I like this one originally when I bought it because it was longer than wider. Any of the photography bags, if you're gonna carry more than three lenses, they they go wide and fat. And I didn't that for me that's not a good thing for when with airplane travel. So I'd rather have long and thin. So that's the reason I purchased this one. And uh, let me just go over real fast. If I'm outside at the beach here, it's gonna be hard to hear. So I'll try to fix it later if, if possible, but if you can't hear anything, just ask me, send me a comment or whatever. Okay, so here it is. So the bag itself, blue and black, has the Kata logo up front. It has side compartments up front. I put in some other small photography accessories. I always put everything in the bags. Car keys, nuts, uh, so a small amount of things can go in here. Back, phone, extra memory cards, gloves for hiking in the woods. Okay. And it has the access top. Has another front flap. Just to put some things in there. Much. And you flip it open, and it has a kind of a plastic waterproof pocket here. Okay, so I've taken a lot of the this out of here, but uh, there's individual phones packing for lenses, parts, stuff like this. Customize it if you want, but I've got my 1740 up front here, it's a pocket just for fun, and I haven't used it yet. My 70 to 300. Accessory filter, uh, from a five, some more accessory flash, uh, walk to talkie, uh, another lens up front here, uh, my macro lens, my box lens cap looks like it's a hundred millimeter Canon 2.8 lens, not the LS. It also, you probably can't see it, but it has these mesh bags in here that are all velcroed in. You can take those out if you want or leave them in. It's a smaller than I have my flash, I have flash, I have the EX, I haven't used that. Sometimes I like fill flash at the beach. And I have my uh, 85 in the rear bird there. 85 millimeter 1.2L. 
That's kind of the bag. It um, has very good packaging straps. It has a waist strap that took off, very clever. And the other key, and it has, of course, the side pocket for water bottles and things like that on, on both sides. Water. And the other thing that the reason why I wanted this bag is that it has this hidden compartment for the laptop. The laptop I don't have it right now, but uh, that's actually pretty handy and it's one of the reasons why I bought it. So that's that Kata HB207. Let me know if you have any questions.